हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मी क्रिस वेलकम टू माय फेसबुक पेज यूएफसी एमएमए एंड यूट्यूब चैनल एमएमए सोर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रीमैच ऑफ होरे मैसिटल वर्सेस स्टेफन थॉमसन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड फॉलो माय पेज फॉर गेटिंग लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट द एमएमए वर्ल्ड आफ्टर विनिंग अ मैच बाय डिसीजन अगेंस्ट जियोफ नील इन अ फर्स्ट फाइट इंटरव्यू व्हेन आस्क्ड अबाउट हिज नेक्स्ट फाइट वंडरबॉय रिप्लाइड ही वांट टू बीट गेमबॉट He wants the BMF versus NMF. Though Wonderboy had shown his interest in fighting with BMF, Masvidal tweeted, "2021 have unfinished business." Although he didn't mention any fighter there, it can be Nate Diaz, Kamaru Usman, or even Kobe Covington. But it would be Wonderboy because he just tweeted after the announcement of Wonderboy to fight with him. About Jorge Masvidal versus Stephen Thompson. This guy is fought in 5 November 2017 in an event of UFC 217. and Wonderboy won this contest by decision. If we talk about the scorecard of the fight, there were 70 total strike of the Wonderboy which is only 44.9%. On the other hand, Masvidal landed 42 significant strike which is only 29.6%. Wonderboy knocked down the BMF for once, but the BMF don't. And there were no takedown and submission attempt at all. If these guys fight again, it would be hard to predict even the closest decision. because both guys are kickboxer and they rarely attempt for grappling and submission however we have seen masvidal poor performance with kamar usman you even can't say masvidal is going to lose the match because masvidal and diaz are those fighter to whom one should not believe so both guys have 50% to win this match do you want to see these guys fighting again in the octagon tell me in the comment box so guys this was the video i had made for you if you loved it please do subscribe and help me to get 2k subscriber thank you have a nice day